why are we sitting with over 30% unemployment? Why is it that we are looking at highly demotivated members of the youth? Why is the suicide rate increased? Why is the dropout rate at schools um, increased? Why can't we improve the success rate? And, and I use the word success rather than pass rate. Um, in, in our institutions, why, 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 why? why? What, what's your sense of the generation, and our pit baby boomers and, and generation X and their offspring? That's you, Dumisa. Um, <laughs> what's happening in that space? I mean, of course I'm qualified to speak about how to raise children because I'm child-free. <laughs> um, you see a lot of youth and you work with a lot of them. No, no, no. But, and I say this in jest because people have said to me, don't at me, you don't know anything about raising children. I'm like, actually, I know a lot about raising children because I have to live with them once they leave your homes. But, th but that's important. You have to be in a bubble. You've got yes. brothers, you've got sisters, yeah. you've got yeah. nephews, you've got nieces, you've got yeah. cousins, you've got, yeah. you know... Yeah. You know. but, but here's mm. what I think, um, and I think I was reflecting on this at some other place, I think, on some stream of consciousness about the things we've inherited. Oh, I, th oh, yeah, yeah. I think that there's a woundedness that if we as parents haven't dealt with, we pass on to our children. And those children pass it on to the people they play with in school, and it just seeps this black ink into our veins, mm. which is why we hurt each other, we hurt ourselves, and we hurt our nation. Yeah. I think there's, there's, a, there's a piece in us that was properly broken by our history, whether we like it or not. And because we haven't taken the time to do what you and I love to do, which is hold the mirror up to one another and go, you don't like what's going on in society, you can't fix society, but how can you be a decent, better person in your family? How can be a decent, better person in your relationship with your children, in your relationship with your spouse, in your relationship with your immediate community? Yeah. What I see is a n not young people who are lost, but young people that haven't had the benefit of guidance. Not because parents, and there are two types of parents, right? There's this permissive parent who says, I didn't have this when I was growing up, so my child must have the BMW at 13 and the Maserati at 16, and the, 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 right? And then there's the other parent who is incredibly authoritarian. Mm. Like, if I don't just uh, uh, bind your legs and your arms, you're going to become a renegade. Mm. And then somewhere in the middle, there's the balancing parent, uh, the one who's wise, who says, um, there are things that are non-negotiable, there are things that we can have a conversation about, and then there are things that you and I are going to find out together, my child. Yeah. And you allow for your children to teach you stuff. And I've always said this to my mother. I've always said, you know, Ma, if parents at the age of six sit their children down and go, dude, you may be my third child, but it's the first time I'm parenting you. Yeah. Right? There are things that I'm going to get right, and there are things that I'm going to get wrong. But I want you to understand that my intentions is to do what is best for you and by you. Yeah, and I suppose that also requires that person to have a bit of self. Yes. <laughs> so it's a full cycle. But, but you're, right. On, you're right. Uh, just to finish the thought, because I, th I, 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 I am concerned about this thing I called unconscious parenting. Yeah. Because this is how we raise unconscious children. Yeah. Um, it is... It, baffles me that for the hardest and the most potentially harmful job you can ever do, which is parent, you're not allowed, you're not required to go to school, to get a license. To get a bloody TV, you need a license. But to breed a human being that you could possibly damage, yeah. you don't need qualifications? It's, you know, the, the, I think, and, and, and the, the, the lack of um, information Maybe not, it's not, that's not the word. There's probably a lot of books out there. The lack of requirement, I think that's where you're going with this, for you to go through some level of understanding of what you're getting yourself into is important and is serious because when I... Uh, Oprah Winfrey had a, a web... Uh, we had a webinar with Oprah uh. two days ago. It was really weird. Oh. Well, Oprah was right here. Mm. It was like, she was on a webinar. Mm. Hang on, we used to watch her in the US, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> even on the TV. Yeah. Like. But 
But the thing was, um, the, the way she was talking about this book that um, her and another gentleman is, is writing, Dr. Gentleman is writing, I've forgotten his name, his, his name will come back to me. To me, so can you look up his name? The, doc, the Dr. Gentleman. The Dr. Gentleman, yeah. <laughs> and and, and exactly I'll tell what you what, uh, so the, um, just maybe Google Oprah Winfrey's um, recent um, webinar. It was on Thursday. Uh, it was on yesterday. It was yesterday, actually. So what she said, what, what, um, um, what she said was the most profound thing that she learned was that, and I hope I get this right, a child born for the first two months that's in a traumatic environment comes out of that traumatic environment and spends the next 12 years in let's what we'll call a normal environment versus a child in the first two months who's in a normal environment yes. and not caring, loving, no and all change. that. Okay. And then for the next 12 years is put in a traumatic environment. The child who was in a normal environment for two, year, for two months versus the child who was in a traumatic environment for two months and then had um, you know, normal a good a normal one. The child who had two months normality in the first two months has a better chance of acclimatizing, responding, and adapting to the world than the child who had trauma within the first two I months. I can believe that. I, 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 was, I was like, you know, and then they got into the descriptions of some of the different elements of trauma. Yeah that can happen within the first two months. But it talks to this element of what you're saying that if, you know, parents grow up saying, or parents parent by saying, I can use language that I want to use. I can, you know, engage with my wife the way I want to engage, or I can engage with one of my children the way I want to engage, or I can engage myself in terms of how I engage. And because they're babies and they're small and they're tiny and they're little, they're not gonna get it. But yet, that impact is quite significant in what happens to them. And they're writing a book of what happened to you. Because now it re, to your point, transitions this thinking around behavior that's linked to an experience that you have had that is ha giving you difficulty to adapt and conform. I was speaking to a gentleman from Westminster University yesterday who was saying that their difficulties that they're having is you've got graduates coming out of a prestigious university in the UK who are not performing afterwards, who are not able to find jobs, who are not able to have normal quote-unquote lives, and they're like, well, they passed their matric or equivalent to mm -hmm. get into university, they graduated, they've got degrees, mm -hmm. they're in the top percentile of educated people, but they can't acclimatize. It is so it is so heartbreaking for me because I can resonate with that. I really, really understand how that is a truism. Um, and if we accept that as a truism, then what is the responsibility we have? The responsibility we have, even before you're like, <gasps> Vic is so smart, we'd make smart babies, is have the wisdom to understand that parenting and having babies are two different things. I always say I had this young man at, uh, how old was I, Demisa, 28, uh, 29. I, he was my experiment. Because what do I know, right? He's turned out, other than the twitch he has, he's turned out all right. Uh, let's ask him. <laughs> 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 but, but yeah, he, 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 he cut the brunt of this figuring out. Whereas yeah. six-year-old... Right, with a more mature, a more self-aware, a more experienced Vigela is having a completely different engagement with me at, at the time. So the three in between, mm -hmm. and it's important. It's 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 a valid point to to this thing of, you know, what's happening to our youth. And I know you and I can talk forever, but just but what we were but we were raised. Remember, Vigela, we were raised by people who said, um, oh, "There you go, there you I go. love you." Right? So yeah. I raised you. So I'm not out here to tell you I love you. Right? You're like, oh, dude, I really would love to just hear you tell me you love me. That's the first one. The second one, you'd hear somebody say, I'm 
brought you into this world and I can take you out. <laughs> Here's what parents don't understand. Parents don't understand that your soul remembers even if your mind can forget. Whoa, okay. And that's why the two-month-old can remember because it's their soul that's remembered. 